Hello friend and welcome to my breastfeeding tips and breastfeeding essentials video. A little bit of a breastfeeding how-to, but mostly my story just to share here in case it's helpful for you as you prepare for your breastfeeding journey or you navigate the challenges that are involved with it. Breastfeeding has been so much more challenging and demanding than I ever thought, so I wanted to create this video for you to help you kind of get your head wrapped around what you might expect, what challenges might come up, and what to do if you do experience something that's difficult. This is my first baby. This is Mia. She is three months old right now, and I actually just fed her her afternoon snack. Um, by now, at three months, she eats six times a day for about 10 minutes on each side, sometimes up to 12 minutes on each side. And her routine is very predictable at this point. But for the months leading up until this point, um, definitely month zero, not months, weeks zero through six, uh, the schedule is a little bit different, but we'll get into that as the video goes on. I also have other videos here on the channel for new mamas and expecting mamas. Um, so be, be sure to check out those before you leave YouTube today. And as always, write a comment below if you have a question or have a request for a future video. Right, Mia? So a few tips. The first breastfeeding tip I have for you is about your own body position. This was a tip I got from a lactation consultant while I was still at the hospital after giving birth to Mia. She said the first thing to do before breastfeeding is to get comfortable yourself. And this was so, so helpful. She really emphasized it because she came in the room and I was kind of hunched over Mia trying to get um, a good angle for Mia and really serving Mia but I was completely hunching over in my back and she said you're going to spend hours and hours breastfeeding it's important that before you ever start a breastfeeding session you are comfortable so I'll insert a couple pictures of the position that I found that I really enjoy but try out different things try the rocking chair try sitting on the couch Try laying down. There are a lot of different positions that you might give a go, um, but just make sure before you start that you are physically comfortable and physically relaxed. This is going to keep your back and arms and your whole body from getting injured or too tight, which can not only hurt your muscles, but also can affect your milk supply. So the more relaxed mama is, the better it is for everybody. The second thing is about the latch. So now once you bring baby to you, which is part of you staying comfortable as you get comfortable, and then you bring baby to you, then the baby latches on to your breast. And the latch is just the term for how baby is connected to your body. So the mouth goes over the nipple and the baby will start sucking. Now, sometimes even, even still, the first second or two that baby latches on, it might be a little bit painful, but as soon as that first second ends, it shouldn't be painful anymore. So if you're experiencing some pain, it's time to look into what might be going on with your latch and maybe see someone in person who can help you look at what baby's doing and give you feedback or tips for what's going on with a certain um, situation that you're experiencing. Specifically though, one big, two big tips are that baby's mouth should be really wide and, and um, taking in a lot of your boob. It's not just sucking on the little tip of your nipple. This was maybe the most surprising thing to me. Baby's mouth has to be wide and you have to really get a lot of boob into their mouth. Then what you wanna look for is that baby's jaw is actually going up and down. It should not be a pursed sucking, like a really tight little mouth, it should be a lot of boob in the mouth and a lot of jaw motion with baby. Um, so maybe the first tip if you're experiencing trouble with latches, make sure there's enough boob into a really wide mouth. Um, it sounds graphic, but that's the way it works and it, it should not be painful. Honestly, I don't even really feel her sucking per se. I feel that she's on my body, but I really don't have a sensation with my good latch with Mia. The third thing I would point out as a breastfeeding tip is to watch the schedule that your baby naturally wants to go on and also be a little bit in control of it. I heard a lot of feed on demand, I heard a lot of you know you can't overfeed a breastfed baby, but I actually stumbled into some issues with that advice. Namely, Mia was hanging out on my boob way too long. She was using me as a human pacifier. Really, your baby can have a meal within anywhere from five minutes to 15 minutes on each side. Mia ends up being about 10 minutes on each side. 
um, and I do burp her in between sides and I do like to do both sides in a single session. Some mamas only do one breast in a single session, but that's up to you. Also on the schedule, my pediatrician, um, in response to our concerns about Mia's spit up, she recommended that you at least wait an hour between meals. This was particularly useful in her first couple weeks of life when she wanted to eat a lot. She's now going about two to two and a half hours between a meal very happily because she's big and sturdy and really efficient at this point at breastfeeding. But in the first couple weeks, baby does want to eat a lot more frequently. Just make sure you give a real meal and then wait at least an hour so that her belly is able to digest some of that milk. I am not a lactation consultant, I am not a pediatrician, but these are just the tips that I heard and have been really working for me and Mia. So that last bit on schedule is you can feed on demand um, but don't let yourself become a human pacifier. Her first night of life, I actually stayed up with her for two hours and she was nursing for two hours. Later, I learned that's not a thing. A two hour meal is not a thing for a baby. She was actually just using me to pacify and relax, which is fine and cute, but she was swallowing way too much air and it actually led to some spit up problems for Mia. There are other ways to comfort your baby than just give them the boob. Um, but really do whatever works for you and, and read baby's cue as best you, cues as best as you can. I just want you to know that it's totally normal to expect to feed your baby within five to 15 minutes a side and then wait an hour. Let them digest until the next feeding. But it might be more than an hour. Point number four is actually about burping. I know this isn't really about breastfeeding, but I want to sneak it in because no one talked to me about burping. And I was doing a very simple, kind of lame version of burping where I would feed Mia and then put her up. I'm gonna give her a position change. I would burp Mia for less than a minute. It was just like a little gesture that I did. I was not giving it my real go. So what you want is to really give your baby a chance to burp. They might burp within the first couple of minutes of putting them up on your shoulder and cupping your hand and giving a nice sturdy pat on the back, maybe rubbing up and down their sides. Might just take a couple minutes, but I've even sometimes waited about 10 minutes before Mia actually gives a real burp. They do get better at burping. Mia got pretty good at almost burping without much help from me at about eight weeks old, but up until that point, you have to encourage the gas to create a big bubble in the stomach and then get out. Um, there are other videos I can link and put in the description box below that show you some effective burping positions because over the shoulder is just one option. Point number five is more about products. So right now I am wearing a nursing tank. It is from Target and it has little clips here that create a door for me to open and have easy access to the breastfeeding moment. Um, I also love Target's breastfeeding bras. I can link both this tank and the bras below. I have two tanks and six bras. They are all I wear at this point. I um, absolutely love them. They make breastfeeding really convenient. Another product I would really recommend is reusable breast pads. You can buy disposable ones, but the reusable ones are so easy. You just throw them in the wash and use them again. So why not do reusable and create less waste in the world? <laughs> But it's really helpful to have if you're going to go out and you know you're not going to be breastfeeding for a few hours and you worry you might get engorged or get leaky, then you can just wear them so that you don't spill on your shirts and cause little embarrassing stains. Um, but actually the primary way I use them is in the mornings when I wake up and I'm quite engorged because she's sleeping through the night now. So um, when I start to breastfeed her on one side, the other breast can sometimes start to leak and create a little bit of a mess. So when I wake up and start to nurse her, I put a pad on the opposite breast so it collects a little bit of the letdown or the milk that starts to come out when it says, oh, we're ready to breastfeed. Um, and I don't have to deal with a big mess anymore. Another product is the product I'm using right now, which is burp cloths. We use the burp cloths from, um, what are they called? Burt's Bees and really love them. We have um, a couple maybe about 15 or so of them uh, because Mia can sometimes have very messy days and might go through four burp cloths in a single day. So we have at least a dozen of these and they're really soft. They're also really large. They're a large rectangle, so you can cover a lot of your body so you don't get a mess on yourself. And also we will lay them down underneath her head if she's on a blanket or a quilt that we don't wanna wash very often. 
these are a great tool. The last breastfeeding product I would mention is called the Haka. Just look it up. It is a silicone um, suction cup that you can put on your opposite breast as you breastfeed to again catch that letdown and collect the milk for a future bottle. So I used the Haka in the beginning, maybe the first two months so that I could slowly build up a little bit of a reserve of breast milk in our freezer. Um, and this way I'm able to confidently make plans and go places or just not be with Mia for a breastfeeding session and her father can give her a bottle in my absence. <laughs> the last thing I'll say in this breastfeeding essentials and tips video is just that breastfeeding is really hard and it takes a lot of time. So my last tip for you is to try to enjoy the breastfeeding time that you do have. I like to relax and sometimes flick through my phone, just look at really happy things on Instagram or my Pinterest board. Other times I'm watching YouTube watching YouTube while I breastfeed. Other times my husband might sit with me and we'll have a nice conversation. But if you're gonna be sitting down for 20 minutes and you wanna have a peaceful, relaxed 20 minutes, just find little ways that you might wanna use that time. Friends have given me the ideas also of listening to podcasts or audiobooks. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> because I tend to like visuals, so that's why Instagram or YouTube really work for me. One second. Those are what I would consider the essentials, but I'm happy to talk with you in the comments or do a follow-up video if there are a lot of questions here. And I really wish you well. Again, breastfeeding has been way more demanding and challenging, but also beautiful than I ever thought. So um, I'm really thinking about you. I. <laughs> I really can relate to any sort of frustration or overwhelm you have with breastfeeding. It's super intense, but um, it is a very beautiful decision you can make if it's right for your family. Be sure to check out my other mama videos here on YouTube or just poke around the other videos I've created. And we'll see you later.